Action. Hi, my name is Sasha. On May 21st, <coughs> 2020, I was in a fire accident. I woke up September 15, 2020, out of a coma. And I was in rehab for six to seven months, and that's when I found my love of a painting. When, when I was in rehab, oh my God, girl, I had to learn how to do everything. How to walk, how to talk, how to walk. Did I just say walk? And I wanna thank you from the bottom of my little, little burn heart for 12,000 followers. Oh my God, thank you for making my video go viral. We could do it, yeah we can. Wow. Lord, don't fuck around, man. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak, Wadash. I'm allowed to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Noise in the gospel, brother, left from Uncle Thunder, of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, man, this is a lady, alleged barn victim. She claimed she was part of a fire and she survived. She woke up like four months later. Um, I guess she goes by the TikTok name by Sasha British, if I'm not mistaken. Never heard of her. And honestly speaking, um, it's not really important. But um, just to show you how you get on the Lord's bad side, he will fuck you up, man. Okay, this is before and after pick. Okay, and you could clearly see that she's proud. She's promiscuous. She's showing her cleavage. And this is why we tell you women, and just Jake in general, man, pride is not the way. Okay, and a lot of you are finding that out, and a lot of you are getting ready to find that out. Pride is not the way, man, because when you do something to piss off the men of the Lord, or you do something to piss off the Most High, and definitely, the Lord will bring judgment on you. Okay, now you do have suffering for righteousness sake. You know, brothers in his faith go through afflictions, shit, all brothers in his truth are dealing with some type of bodily ailment. Doesn't mean they're wicked, no. Okay, but we're all paying for things we've done. We've all paying for, for to, to for sinning against the Lord as a collective, man. You know, so some shit you did or you going through, it could have been from a lifetime ago. It could have been the Lord trying to get your attention. And it could be the Lord chastising you, man. Okay, but we know with the election, the elect men that are gonna go through afflictions, sicknesses, body ailments, we do know that that's for our chastisement, and the Lord is correcting us. You know, to to make us worthy, to try us, because at the end of the day. We're precious Jews to the Lord, and the Lord ain't going, we ain't, it ain't going to be no half-ass shit, okay? When the Lord is going to perfect a, a particular piece, like if you brothers are into jewelry and you just watch Jewelers Jewel, it's a perfection to it. It's a process it goes through. It's a refining process. Certain metals can't bend, or soft metals, you're not supposed to bend when they're hot because you could totally destroy it, versus hard metals, you can bend it when it's hot because, you know, it gives you the plate of to flex it into to put it into perspective and to make the perfect shape. But if it's a soft metal, you don't want to deal with that. You want to let it cool down before you tamper with it because you can destroy it, which is just those impurities that the Lord is getting out of us. But you have those that come against the truth, not saying she did, but whatever she did, she's offended the Lord. OK, whether she's committed adultery on a man, whether she's in just her lifestyle, you know, you know, the Lord can get you, especially when you're not in this faith. And you're just out here being proud. Eventually, the Lord is going to judge your ass, man. I mean, this is not even a, a whole woman anymore. I mean, you know, despite the barn shit, she has no feet nor no legs. Like, And you got this. And I get it. The Western society tells you to stay who you with. But the scriptures tell you it's rather to die than to be physically maimed in a body like this. Like, she, this is not mercy. This is judgment. Okay? Because mercy would have been her just dying. Because this is no way to live a life and you're still promoting promiscuous behavior. And of course, you got this simp, beta male cup, look like an Edomite, could be a Jake, who knows. But Esau, he's into that shit, man. Okay, but he might be a simple ass nigga, though, because I don't I don't see Esau stand with a woman like that. Esau don't even like women, black women at that. 
So he may be a Jake, because Jake is all in that simp mentality of no matter what I got to steal my wife from. We're not telling brothers if you know their wives get in positions like this to leave them. No, we're not saying that shit happens. But overall, she should have wanted death. Okay, because ultimately, that's the way out. Okay, uh, I got to find that preset real quick. Uh, I don't know how it's worded, but uh, let me see. Better to die than than to be maimed. No, it's not that one. It's one in the apocrypha. see something it's a scripture uh, uh, uh being being whole in the body not I ain't gonna sweat it it's not the one I think it's in the apocrypha I can't I can't recall where it's at but the wholeness of the body See if we can find it here. Salakia, man. I, it's been a minute since I bought this out. PSE 11. Uh, and they don't go into the apocrypha on this. Bingo, so rock 30 and 17, bam. Fuck the water, y'all watch me, I was shot. Uh, let me get the whole chat. It says, so rock 30 and 17, it says, death is better than a bitter life or continued sickness, man. This is a continued sickness right here. This is a bitter life. Now, of course, you know, she's looking, you know, or trying to appear good for the camera, but you better believe, man, you know, she's in a miserable state of mind. Like, look at this. This is not even a person no more. This looks like a like a ventriloquist or something. I'm not even being funny, but it, she can't even do any. The only thing she can really do for this dude is put her mouth on it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know if the the JJ work. I mean, maybe so. But even then, it's like, what type of odors does it have just from the uh, the trauma that her body has suffered through the fight and the surgeries and the body trying to recuperate and heal? It's crazy. You know, she can't give any hand jobs. She can't give any foot jobs. She can't do anything. You know, so that's a hard pill to swallow. But running that back to Rock 30 and 17, death is better than a bitter life or continued sickness, man. OK, so, hey, our people, they're going to learn the hard way. You know, they're going to learn the hard way. Uh, Yep, that's the point I wanted to make. So Rock 30 is a good chapter, by the way. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to meditate on that today. That's a beautiful chapter. But anyway, getting back to the to scripture, this is the book of Deuteronomy 10. And I'm going to start at verse 17. It says, For Yahweh, your power is a God of gods and the Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regarded not the persons nor take a reward. So there's not respect of persons. The Lord don't give a damn who you are. You could be the most shit. Look at what uh, the most I did to King David, man. Okay. Look at what he did to Paul. Look at what he did to his men. You know, he allowed his men to get stoned, sold the sunner. Hey, even uh, uh, King David, his own sons wanted to put him to death and then slept with his concubine. You know, and I just, you know, just to name a few things that happened to the man of the Lord. OK, even look at Ezekiel. The Lord took his wife out and told him, you ain't got time to mourn for her. Go out there and prophesy. Put the spirit on him to continue to teach. He allowed Jonah to be swallowed up by a well. So if he did that to the righteous, just imagine how much the wicked is going to suffer for that doing. According to 1 Peter 4 and 17. It says, for Yahweh, your power is a power of powers and a Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible. Shit, man. The Lord will bring your fears upon you, man. You don't want to piss off the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot, man. All right. Uh, 
fear. Body hell. Matthew 10 and 28. It says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able. It says, and fear not them which are which are with them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. Okay, so a hey, the most high can put you in an internal torment and torture you, man. Okay, read it again. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. Okay, which is the most high. This is a hellish condition. She's in her own personal hell because she's not able to do the things she once enjoyed. Now, she's still a haughty. She's still proud. She's still promoting uh, some type of promiscuity, which you must then learn from the first time. So ain't no telling, man. The Lord may just finish off with the missiles, you know. But regardless of that, Yahweh Shemi Yahweh is greatly to be feared, okay? Greatly to be feared because he's not a fucking joke, man. That's why the nation's known him by the power of Allah Shadja, which means terrible demon-like power, okay? Because look at what he did with those Egyptians. He smote all the firstborn of Egypt and their cattle, okay? Destroyed the crops and totally brought their economy down. Plagued them with apparitions. It said evil angels he sent among them. Which we know evil angels are demons. Spirit apparitions. You see? So yeah, it's not wise to get on the Lord's bad side and still have a sense of confidence about you. You know, because I'm sure she's probably heard of the truth. Heard of the Israelites. I mean, shit. That's mainstream news now. Everybody know who the Hebrew Israelites are. Okay, this guy. Uh, uh, What's his name? The nigga that got kidnapped. Something I think is uh, what's this guy's name, man. He's like a basically a reporter. Just mentioned him a couple of weeks ago. Something Luna, Cena, some shit. Brothers know what I'm talking about. But basically, he stated that well, everybody sees these Hebrew Israelites, but you know the doctrine. He said Biden. He said the Biden administration is persecuting these guys. Uh, but he said, but they're not doing anything but giving a little crazy bullshit speeches and doing it. But they're not really a threat. But he said everybody sees them. They dress up in their little costume. You know, you're talking shit about us. But, I mean, everybody knows about us. So, if you live in a big city, you've come across the camps. You've seen the camps, whether it be UPK, Nate's camp, GMS, Sakari. I mean, shit. We in every state. Shit, Nate got fucking schools in Nigeria, man. You know, so everybody's heard of us. So, there's no excuse at this point. All right? But, uh, Zephaniah 3... And I'm going to start at verses uh, 5. It says, The just Lord is in the midst thereof, and he will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgments to light, and he fell it not. But the unjust know it no shame. Okay? Because, hey, she's not justified. She's not justified by behaviors, but she doesn't know any shame. Because look at this. You know, this is what she used to look. She's missing that. She's proud. She got that different color shit in her hair. The scriptures say, uh, learn, not, learn not the way of the heathen, or envy not thou the oppressor, nor choose none of his ways. You know, she got the come catch his own. She's drawing the fucking eyelashes, the makeup, got the, the titties out with the cleavage. Nobody should be seeing that. And on top of that, she's married. She has a whole man, you know, and he's allowing her to dress like that. That's disrespecting to that man. And that's another thing, man. You women, you're going to learn how to respect your men. You see? So, yeah, man, the Lord is very terrible, man. Don't fuck with your about Shimmy I was shy, man. He's not one to be trifled with. But I'm going to end it there. I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, Shalom and a Baba Baba. Shalom.